Yusuf and Makoko, I tell you what, he's going bloody nowhere. Hello, Mr. Ten Hag. Pleasure. Manchester United. Yes, he did. Yusuf and Makoko was banging in the goals last season. Top scorer. Don't need me to tell you. Superstar. Who wouldn't want him, eh? He's going absolutely nowhere, Eric. Absolutely nowhere. 57 million? Wouldn't even get out of bed for that kind of offer. Oh, sh. Well, that was dicey. Oh, dear me. Oh. What a terrifying intro that was, but fear not, fear not. Not only have we kept Yusuf and Makoko, but if you remember, we had 14, no, 12.4. How much money did we have to spend? It was nothing. It was either 14 million or 12.4 million. I can't remember which. We had like 100 grand in the wage budget. So, so yes, we've basically spent the transfer budget, but we've got a lot more in the wages than we did originally, so we can still jiggle about if we need to. Have we made a lot of signings? Well, of course we have. We've found some bargains, we've found some wonder kids, we've made some deals. But most importantly, ask Jay. What do we need? Editor Jay, insert insert a clip here. Just where do I spend that 12 million? Right back. Got to be. Gotta be a right back. Exactly. Right back. Did we get a right back? Did we? Augustin Guillet. G A G I, right back, Argentinian, 2.8 million, and we're about to loan him out. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. Desperate for a right back. Well, I was, until this guy returned from loan. Why on earth this guy was out on loan? Ansgar Knauf. Can play basically anywhere down the right, anywhere down the left. He's probably a bit more of a winger than a right back. But I'm going to play him at right back because I'm a bit overloaded in the wing department. A bit overloaded. So, Ansgar Knauf, welcome back to the club. Right back, not needed. Yeah, Augustin Jai is on his way out on loan. And let's have a look at the transfer history. Firstly, They've only gone and fixed the transfer screens. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, the outs. The outs. Daniel Milan. Sold. 9.25 million. Uh, Matteo Murray. 1.9 million. He wasn't really going to feature. Uh, Sebastian Haller. 4.4 million. He's now worth 20 to 30. Bit annoying, really. Uh, but he was on £185,000 a week. He's now on 65k a week at uh, Olympic Lyon. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I just wanted him off the wage bill because we were struggling at the time. Uh, Marius Wolf, 10.25 million. He's now worth 28 to 34 million. I didn't think he was that good. He was only worth about 6 million when he was with me. Um, and I offered 10 and a half or whatever. And they said, yeah. And I thought, yes. I think I might have been done in here. Julian Brandt, 9.25 million. He was entering the last year of his contract and actively said he was going to explore his options. He was not going to sign a new deal. So, yeah, the best thing to do was to get rid of him, and get rid of him we did. Uh, get a bit of money in, fine. Uh, Mahmoud Dahoud, 12 million to Arsenal. Again, he wasn't going to feature. He didn't feature loads for me last season. If we have a quick look, he played 12 times, 10 of them coming off the bench. Only twice did he start. And with more players coming in, going to have even more of a hard time so who have we brought in well straight away Mahoud Dahoud's replacement not really because he would never really played Andre Santos you've probably seen this guy knocking about in your saves games you've probably seen him on loads of Wonder Kid videos and rightly so this guy is incredible he is a very well-rounded player he can play playmaker defensive midfielder box to box you name it he can do it in the middle of the park what a polygon what a player 
17.5 million. What a bargain. Augustine Gay went for 3.4 million, as we've discussed. Valentin Gomez, he'd already been secured last season. I think you'd already seen this guy. Um, Sveslav Vutsov, at 1.6 million pounds, we paid for this goalkeeper. We've loaned him back to Slavia Sofia. Simply because, I don't know, I just wanted a young goalkeeper coming through that could maybe be back up or first team. I wasn't too sure. 1.6 million wasn't going to break the bank. An oldie but a goodie. And when I mean an oldie, I mean a wonder kid from years gone by. Marcus Leonardo, we know this guy. I mean, obviously I've sold Daniel Milan. I've sold Sebastian Haller. I was a bit light in the striking department. Basically it was Makoko and Adiemi. So I've brought Marcus Leonardo in to play up front and he's going to do a nice little job. How much did we pay for him? £21 million. And then we've paid £23 million for Antonio Silva. Again, another wonder kid. He's probably been seen. He's not actually a wonder kid, according to the media description. He's just called a centre-back. But look at his potential ability. Guaranteed four, potential five. He's got a great rounded set of attributes. He's got a very decent polygon for someone who's 19 years old. Um, he cost me 23 million, potentially 27. He's only on 40,000 pounds a week. He's a model citizen in terms of personality. He's 187 centimeters. I don't know what that means in feet and inches. I should change this really, but I'm lazy. Um, he's tall enough. He's got a very well rounded set of attributes. He's a good young prospect, model citizen. And I needed a center back because Matt's Hummels, his legs have gone. He's a model citizen, so he's staying, but his legs have gone. I don't want to play him. I think that might have been part of the problem last season. Again, you guys have probably seen this guy floating around in your save games on the Wonder Kid videos out there on YouTube. Arda Guler. Great set of technicals, good set of mentals. Pretty abysmal set of physicals, but he is young. I've got him training quickness for now. I might do a bit of strength in that if he gets his quickness up to about 12. He doesn't look like he can run, but give him the ball. Dimitar Berbatov, Zlatan. Those are the kind of players. I mean, Zlatan had a lot of strength, to be fair, and natural fitness. But you know what I'm trying to say. Just give him the ball and let him ping it about. That's what Arda Gula is going to be here for. And then Oscar Glauk, he appeared in the NXGN Awards. I think he was in the top 10. I'm not sure where he finished. Um... Maybe in the top 20. Anyway, he looked quite decent. He stayed on loan at Maccabee Tel Aviv. We paid three and a half million pounds for this little fella. Uh, yeah, he looks pretty decent. So an exciting prospect for the future. But in terms of people that have mainly come in that are going to feature this season, it's Andre Santos, Valentin Gomez, Marcus Leonardo, Antonio Silva and Arda Goulet. £82 million pounds spent... £47.5 million recouped. Quite a few of those going out in instalments. But that's all right. In terms of first team, this is probably going to be how we're lining up really for the start of this season. Maybe uh, Ansgar Kanaf instead of Alejandro Frances. But yeah, maybe that. But that's how roughly how I'm going to be lining up with a lot of players being able to come in and switch it up. So I'm very pleased with our summer transfer business. We come back today for the opening days of the season, Darmstadt and Eintracht Frankfurt. So, we're seven days away from Darmstadt. Let's get skipping through. The transfer business is done. The money is spent. There's very little more we can do in this transfer window other than sell players. And I'm not really interested in selling anyone right now. Here's our mentoring groups. I haven't got Antonio Silva in a mentoring group because you take on the traits when you're young. And in reality, I don't want him taking on any traits from players. He's a model citizen. I don't want his personality to change. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think that's only, that's only going to be the case. So I've not got him being uh, mentored by anyone for now. He'll be the one doing the mentoring in a couple of years' time. Goal for this season as well. Um, same as the club vision is the same, really. Reached the knockout stage of the Champions League. Qualify for the Champions League. Challenge for the Cup. Porto was very disappointed because I've not signed one German player. So, I finished third. Top three is the goal, in my opinion. Really, I should be kicking on. But I think I think my youth players are just, a, just on the side of being a bit too inexperienced. I think one more season with a few players really kicking on. 
next season's the season that we not only try and push for second, we challenge for the league. Plus, there's a lot of new faces. I think it's like five that have come in this season. Let quite a few experienced heads go. So, first six months of the season are probably going to be a little bit dicey. Okay, so Adi has got a knock, so Rooney Barge is going to come in as the inside forward on the right. Other than that, it's going to be the same as team as I showed you a few minutes ago. Uh, let's get straight into the first game of the season against Darmstadt. This is a match we should be winning. Make sure we do. Trying to keep it quite similar to last season. So realistically, the only player that's come in that I wasn't here last season. Okay, Knauf was um, out on loan. It's uh, Silva. Antonio Silva is the one player that's going to be starting. We've got a few players on the bench. Marcus Leonardo, most notably. But how can you look past Yusufa Makoko, really? How many goals did he get last season? A lot. So, at least give him the nod to begin with. Anyway, here come Darmstadt, 98. Wilhelmsen, Kempe. That's it, Antonio Silva with a nod. Brilliant. First action of the Dortmund shirt. Getting, getting the ball back and starting off an attack. So unpredictable these highlights though now we're playing it around could we give it away we could but Rooney Barge is coming through I think this is our attack it's Makoko put it wide I think he was offside anyway Guerrero across it's Antonio Silva on his debut we're going to VAR I don't think he was offside And yes, Antonio Silva with a goal on his debut. Yes. Oh, Makoko's got a knock. Tight calf. Injured with wants to play on. Marcus Leonardo. Sorry, Yusufa. You're not worth risking. In a game like this, we're already winning. If you'd have scored then, I might have thought twice about it, but nah. Not worth the risk, is it? Rooney. The counter-attack is on. Marcus Leonardo. Find the pass. Reina. Gotta be. He's <laughs> not done what I would have done. But then I'm not a well, I was going to say professional footballer, but technically, this is just an interpretation of a professional footballer in a computer game. I had a shot there into that touch. But anyway, he scored. He scored. So who am I to judge? Decision making on point, Geo. 2 0. I'm waffling. Guerrero. The transfer business, I'm very pleased with. I've managed to get quite a few players that I wanted, get rid of a few players that I didn't want. Or. Maybe not as much money as I should have got. I probably would have kept Julian Brandt, but as soon as he said he was going to leave, I was like, I'm not getting nothing for you. Because he was going to be, in my opinion, a bit part player. And he's. I've decided to keep Gittens around for the time being. Schlitter up! 3 0. Yeah, I've kept Gittens around for the time being. He is on the loan list, I think, still. But I think Gittens is probably going to play sporadically. Especially if we get a couple of injuries. He'll be there. He'll be really handy on the wing. So, And they've still got like Royce and um, Hazard. 3-0 in the first half. It's been, it's been a brilliant performance. And we've got the ball back again. This could be four. Reina through to Leonardo. Should be. It isn't. Marcus Leonardo denied a debut goal. When in reality, it was, it was on a plate for him. That said, that's handball. Was there many? There was, mm, that looked like a handball as well, which is what I really like. I don't know how many handballs there were on the last football manager. I don't seem to remember them being that many. I think there was a few. But I don't know, that just looked and felt like a handball. 
Pereira misses his penalty. He's missed one in pre-season as well. He's coming off penalties. Here comes Tietz. Brilliant. Oh, Knauf. Fair play. Right, Guerrero's playing rubbish, so Tom Roth is coming on. I'm going to bring Bellingham off for, I guess, Andre Santos. Where's Reader? God, I'm not going on the bench. An oversight. A lot of defenders on the bench here. Go on. Go on, Gula. Give Gula a run out. Debut. Arda Gula. Over the free kick. Can he score? He can! He gets his first goal, competitive goal for the club, but he scored in pre-season, but shut up with his second goal of the season. This is his first goal for Dortmund. Barring in. What a finish. That's two debutants with the goals, with goals today. An assist for Leonardo. Fantastic transfer business. Yes, I know Darmstadt, I think, have just come up. Yeah, they'll probably be favourites to be relegated. Yeah, we should be winning like this. But we have won like this. That's the important thing, gang. We have performed as we should. What a ball. What a goal. Andre Santos with another assist for a new, new but newcomer. And Rooney Bargy caressed that into the bottom corner. What a brilliant pass. Oh, on the volley. Amazing. The match engine is so much more fluid. And you get little moments like that. Like, it's, in my opinion, I'm very happy with how much it's been upgraded. Very impressed with it so far. Harry Madiemi is not starting. Neither is Makoko. Am I going to regret not starting Makoko? Who knows? But here we are. No highlights to speak of. We're a quarter of an hour in. Here we go now. First highlight. Sule to Guerrero. Back to Sule. Oh, back to the goalkeeper. Noble. Guerrero. Bellingham. Schleder up. Awful. Didn't feel like this was going to be our highlight. And it's not. Andre Santos tries to win the ball back. But instead, it's all the way across and it's nodded just wide by Ali. Buying in the late kickoff again. Knauf. Awful pass to Rooney. Alright, Knauf's got it back. Whips it over. Oh! Driven cross. Pace on that. Marcus Leonardo gets his head to it. I'm not going to have a go at him for it in the post because I'm surprised he's not got a concussion. Oh, this is going to go in. Oh, it's not. Thank, thank God. Ooh. Disappointing. Absolutely unacceptable. Shadow up seemed fired up. Bargy seems fired up. Seemed very motivated. Do you know what? I'm going to give him 15 minutes. He seemed motivated. And there could be a triple change, a quadruple change. What's five? Quintuple change. Rooney's now getting a 6.2. Fired up my arse. Schleder up. Oof. He's getting a 6.4. Here comes Canal, who seems to be getting a lot of the ball. Rooney now. Turn that 6.2 upside down. 2.6, I don't know what I'm saying. Andre Santos. Guerrero. Right, Schleder up. Get down that left wing. Rainer. It's... Crap. Right. Tactics and changes. Rooney Bargy for Kai Madiemi. Marco Royce. Schleder up. Marcus Leonardo. And... Uh, Andre Santos for 
Fabian Reader, and I'm going to put Jude Bellingham back for winner. We've literally changed the entire attacking threat, apart from Rayner. Who is getting a 7.1? And here we are, back with another highlight. An hour played. It's Colo Muani now for Freiburg. Sosa. Smolchich. Tuta. Smolchich. Sow. Smolchich. They're just passing it around. They're just bagging their time at the moment, and I feel like it's... Doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good. He's given a penalty away. Stule! Come on! You're going to give it. Give it and let's get on with the game. I'm going to encourage. Turn these bad questions upside down. Bore. Oh, Koble, I thought you were going to get there. Oh. As long as you're in the top four by Christmas, not the end of the world. But I think we are going to lose quite a few games. I think we've just got too much inexperience and too many young players that haven't quite got to the level. But here comes Rayner. What a touch. What a goal. Geo Rayner. Excellent equaliser. The thing is, with our young players, on their day, we're going to demolish teams. Look at this. Adiemi now. Great ball in. Reina, what a touch and bang. Tucks it home. Completely takes the keeper out of the equation. Sends him down to the calf for a cup of tea. 1-1. One, one. I'm going to demand more because I want to win. I don't want to be finishing third again this season. I want to be improving year on year. Royce. Come on, Marco Royce now. Whip it in. It's back to Reader. Burst into the box and it's not the best shot. And that's it. It's the end. It's 1-1. It's a bit of a dismal end to the episode, really. It started badly with Yusufa Makoko and his release clause. Then we had some great news with him re-signing and a fantastic transfer window. An opening day phenomenal win against uh, Darmstadt, who actually won their game against Union Berlin. Their mid-table. And then we drew against Eintracht Frankfurt, who did win their opening game of the season as well. They finished mid-table last season. Profile. So season, the season preview does state that Bayern Munich are expected to win it, and we're expected to be second. The entire Bayern Munich team is the media dream 11. Kenneth Taylor. He's not better than Bellingham. Oh, this is a fix. This is a fix. Anyway, thank you very much for being here, gang. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this transfer roundup and opening day to season two of our Borussia but beta Let's Play. Well, when are we back? Um, Leipzig and oh, Bayern Leipzig. We've got Bayern in the second round of the cup. Oh, this is not going to go well. If we go out in the second round, we're going to have to be better than... Oh. Oh dear, but we've played Bayern a lot. Sick of playing Bayern. Champions League in a league game. That's when we'll be back. Oh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Take care. See you soon. Bayern in the cup.